Hello everyone, it is Teresa from Teresa Silhouette Spot for All Things Art, where I love sharing art from my heart. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tuesday Night Live. I am painting this um, butterfly wood cutout. So, when you hop on, tell me where you're watching from, tell me this, this is the first time, and you will see in the lower right, no, left corner of your screen, there should be a little um, pop-up window that says get notified when Teresa goes live. If you want to know when I go live and get a notification for that, just click in that box that says get notified and you will know when I go live. So, how is everyone? So, I am making horizontal stripes. I'm going to do somewhat of an ombre effect before I paint the butterfly design on here. But when I do horizontal lines... When you go horizontal, your arm tends to windshield wiper. So I will turn my surface, whatever it is, and even though I'm doing horizontal lines, I will paint them on vertically so my arm does not windshield wipe. And it just goes straight up and down. And if you can see, I need some more paint. I am actually moving from my shoulder. My whole body, I'm not going like this, but my whole body moves. Now with this ombre effect, I have picked out some oranges and a coral color and yellow. And I'm starting in the middle and I'm going to work my way outward, getting lighter. Okay? And then we will paint the really pretty, fun, I missed that little part there. Um, butterfly design. So how's everyone doing today? I posted the free class for April. We're going to do a little, um, I know it's April, but it's the end of April. So we're going to do a little Cinco de Mayo margarita on the beach painting. So go into the free group if you're interested in doing that. And I'm working on this. So I want a little bit of a thicker stripe in here of the dark. And all this time, I'm using a completely dirty brush. You won't see me go into the water at all. But I do want this a little darker. So I just picked up more of the dark instead of going right into the light color. This light color is one of my favorites. It's fire coral. So I have autumn leaves, pure orange, fire coral, and then for the yellow, I have a moon yellow. So I'm just mixing over here, you can't see, a little bit of my coral and my orange because when I went right into my coral, it was a little light for the next stripe. So I wanted to darken it up a little bit. So I added a little bit of orange to it and go back in like that. So how is everybody doing today? You guys, I'm wearing my school clothes. I don't know if you can see. So I got home from work a little late. I was running around. Who remembers having to wear school clothes and play clothes? I do. So ordinarily, I change my clothes when I get home from work. Either, honestly, if I'm not doing a live, I will go and put my pajamas on. If I am doing a paint a live, like on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um... I'll put on a painting shirt. But tonight I was in such a rush. I'm like, oh, I'm painting in my school clothes. But that's okay. I have on my apron. That should keep me covered, right? Yeah, we'll see. As you all know, I am an extremely messy painter. So now I'm going to pick up some of this coral on the dirty brush, this fire coral, by itself. Because I got the darker stripe where I mixed it a little bit with the orange. And now I'm going back in. And you can see, I tend to be dipping. These boards suck up a lot of paint. I could have um, base coated it first, but I didn't. That's okay. I'm here to paint and enjoy myself and talk to y'all. So that's why it tends to suck up the paint. And so I have to keep going back in and mixing. I mean, dipping my brush. And you want these lines... To mix you don't want harsh lines where you separate your colors so I'm now I'm mixing the coral and the yellow 
for the top. So I want it to transition to that pretty, pretty color. Then when this dries, I will go back in in the corner. There it is. I will go back in to the corner and um, brighten up the top of the yellow. So it's a really, really nice bright yellow because right now it's a mix of my fire coral and my yellow. But I think I want the tips to be a little bit brighter. Okay? Do you guys like these colors? I think they're really pretty. This one, since we have a little bit more room, I'll have my mix of the coral and the yellow, and then I'll be able to go right into the bright yellow because I have a little bit more room on this fat part down here on the butterfly, this bottom wing here. And now, like I said, I'm just going to pick up yellow. Maybe I'll add a little bit of white to the transition here. And then, there we go. I like that. And I'll add a little bit of white and pick up my yellow. And get right in there with that. So, there is the base coat. See how quick that went, too? There's the base coat of my butterfly in these pretty, um, I like to think of it like a sunrise, sunrise, sunset, beautiful colors. And like I said, I'm going to go back in. I want this to dry a little bit because I want the very tips of these wings to be as bright as they are on the bottom. So I'm going to go back in and brighten those up. But I want them to dry um, a little bit. I'm just going to brighten this part up down here a little bit too. So did everyone have a nice weekend, a nice holiday? I hope so. It was good here, it was fine. And then I'm just gonna come up here on the very tips. Now I could go in and paint my um, edges, but I don't like to bore you guys with that. I'm just gonna mix the paint a little bit here. So takes a while to paint the edges, so I don't need to do that with you guys watching. I'll just go back when I'm done and pick up the colors that I was using and go around and paint. Actually, what I will probably end up doing, now that I think about it, I will probably go around and paint the edges black because that's what I'm going to do now. So I still have, you know, I was working on my lights. I still have this glare over here that I don't know how to get rid of. I'm gonna have to talk to um, daughter number one. Hey Terry, how are you? I'm gonna have to talk to daughter number one and see what she can recommend um, for me to get rid of that glare. I didn't used to have it. That's what really is weird to me. So, so now I'm gonna put out some black. You guys, I get such such satisfaction, and it's probably weird, and sometimes I need a color, but I get such weird satisfaction from finishing a bottle of paint. I'm like, oh my God, I did so much painting. I finished that aqua or that black or whatever. I know it's weird, right? I know, I'm weird. Um, so anyway, so now I'm going to go in. I'm just going to do a little bit of line here because I want to know where my butterfly's body is before I make it too wide. And I'm gonna go in and fill it in. What I like about this um, wood cutout, which if I was gonna make, like if I was gonna do a butterfly on a canvas, like a 19, uh, 16 by 20 canvas or something, I would probably take this butterfly and trace it because it's perfectly symmetrical. And butterflies are symmetrical. So when you're painting a butterfly, you're sketching one out by hand. If you're not using a tracer, it's very, very difficult to get both sides of the butterfly the same. So inevitably, one side will be fatter, skinnier, taller, shorter, whatever it is. So I like that this wood cutout was done on a laser. So it's already symmetrical. And then I can use it for a template 
if I want to paint one on a canvas. So now I'm going to take my, this is a number 12 black, and I'm just going to outline my entire butterfly. This is how we begin to get the shape of the wings. And then we can go in and add different lines, different colors, different patterns to our wings. Only The only thing you have to keep in mind is when you paint a butterfly, you want whatever you do on one side to match the other side. I know, today was, I just, sometimes I feel like, Terry, I agree. Sometimes I feel like some of these days are just too long and it just, that was, that's how I felt yesterday, going back to work. Like last night, I came home and I was like, I'm pooped. I had plans to work in here. I even had plans to do a special live. I took a shower and I was like, yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to chill. So I totally get how you might feel that way today. So anyway, um, so now I'm going out, I'm outlining both the wings in black. Now you understand why when I come back, I'm going to do the edges in black. But what I like about butterflies is after you get the shape down, the basic shape, you can go in and add lines and patterns, thick lines, skinny lines, whatever you want. And this butterfly, I can trace this butterfly 10 times and make 10 extremely different butterflies based on my background colors and the patterns I choose within the wings. So honestly, I love painting things like that that are so versatile. Like I love being able to paint um, a really nice container or a vase on a canvas and then either change up the color of that vase or just change up the flowers that you put in it when I paint a canvas painting. Because you can take the same container, whatever it is, water pitcher, tin bucket, whatever it is that you put down on your design, and then just by changing the colors and maybe a pattern that's on it or the way the sun hits it, or even changing the flowers inside, from something that's springy to winter. You have a totally different project. So, there we go. We have the outline. Let me move you guys down so you can see of my butterfly. Okay, I'm going to take a little drink. Sorry. So, now I'm going to go in. Um, no, I'll use the chisel edge of this. And I'm going to start painting some, let me see, I am looking at a reference picture over here. I'll show you what I want to do. Okay, I'm going to start painting some shapes. Okay. And I'm using the chisel edge. of my brush and it doesn't matter how thick or thin you could use your liner brush you can use the chisel edge of your brush you can use a totally different brush it is up to you what brush you use so i'm just making this a little thicker now that i have it where i want it okay And then I broke that up into sections. Because it's really, as long as you have a pattern and it matches, well, I'm gonna do this. It's really okay however you wanna make it. It's your art. It's art, it can't be wrong. I say that all the time. So now I'm gonna try and make these match. I could, which would be smart, use a piece of chalk um, and then this way, if I mess it up, I can take the chalk and fix it, but I'm being a little brave tonight. 
I'm going to just wing it. What do you guys think? Okay. Then I'm going to get a nice sharp edge. I'm going to go up in here. And I'm going to spice it like that. Now I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to add... Um, I'm going to put one here in the middle. There we go. I'm going to put another one here in this middle. Okay. Then I'm going to put little ones down here. Once I get the basic shape, I'll go back in with my black on the chisel edge and fill it in a little bit. Make it a little bit thicker. There we go. And the same thing here. So this is about the equivalent of when I got tell you guys how we um, base coat, base coating everything. This is the base coating part of the butterfly. This is getting our shape in, getting our um, design just the way we want it. And then we will start adding all the colors and the patterns to it. Mm -hmm. go. I'm going to close this one about to there. What do you guys think so far? So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the colors. I need a little bit more of this. I'm going to take the colors that I already had. I might add a purple in here. But I'm going to take the colors I already had and I'm just going to start putting in a design. And what I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other side. Whether I put polka dots or stripes or um, big swirls. And I'm going to start with the yellow because most of my painting is the orange in the middle so I'm going to start with the yellow and I'm just going to start making designs and what I do on one side I'm going to go in and do on the other side and that is it and I want to use the opposite colors Okay, then what I used for the background. So since most of my background is oranges in the orange family, I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with my yellow and I'm going to highlight and put in my patterns with the yellow on the orange parts. And then I'll go back in and I will add the orange on the yellow parts. But that will only be like in the corners and stuff because that's all there is. And I'm just doing like a series of comma strokes and apostrophes and they're going opposite ways. And then I will go back in with some stripes and some dots to fill everything in. I want a little, I'm going to pick up another brush because I want some of my black lines to be a little bit thicker. OK, 
okay because then I want to put some design in the black and instead of using this brush I'll just keep this brush for the color and I'll pick this one up for the black because then I can go in and I can add some design into these black spaces Leave my black brush there and go back to my yellow. I'm going to pick up a little bit of white, I think, on my yellow. Okay, so some white and some yellow. And that was the bottom one, yep, so... There you go. And do another one up here. And another one on this part of the wing. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little bit of purple. And yeah. Maybe, I don't know about apple, but I am going to add a little bit of purple. So, move my black clean this all right oh this is a nice deep purple what is this violet pansy thought it was perfect purple at first but it's violet pansy so Now I could bounce all around, but I will get confused, honestly. So I prefer to go back and forth, side to side, just so I keep in the right order and I don't miss doing one from one section to the next. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add these in here, these little comma strokes. And the same thing on this side. Okay. I think that's good on the purple for now. Okay, which orange? I think I like this very, very bright orange. I think I'm going to go in here with the bright orange. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. I love making these big comma strokes that are fat on the top and then get narrow as the tail goes down. I think I might paint this part in black too and then go over it with one of my brighter colors. And I've said this before, don't worry, it's paint. If you wait for it to dry, you can fix anything. There we go. So leave that. So these areas here might look a little dark to you, but once the black is really, really nice and dry, I'm going to go back in there and um, 
put in some yellow or orange highlights and then you'll see how it's going to brighten up right now the black is probably all you guys have jumping off onto your screens and you're like oh what is she doing all that black for but you'll see once I that dries I'm going to go back in and add designs to the black parts So let me get, I'm going to use my big brush for now, and I'm going to start adding in my dots. Dry it off really good. The only thing, I might end up adding something because I like my butterflies to have antenna. And these do not have antenna. So I'd have to drill holes or something to put in antenna. So now I'm going to go in, I'm just going to pick up I'm using my big one first for big dots. And I'm bouncing around to make it even. And you can see when I'm doing the big dots, as I run out of paint, they automatically graduate and get smaller. So I start out big, but as I move through the shape, Obviously, I'm going to run out of paint, and my dots will automatically get smaller. It would be nice if I could count, but that's okay. I'm going to pick up some of this orange. And like you can basically do whatever you want, whatever kind of design you want, whatever kind of shapes you want, it's up to you. It's your project and you can go in and do whatever you want. It's nice to have a reference photo, but once I start going, it's pretty much whatever I feel. And I'll just be like, la di da this looks good, this looks good, let me put some of this here, let me put some of that there. If you wanna make a dot a little bigger when you're using the back of your brush, just go in and make a circle with it. And I'm going to pick up my middle size one. Oh, I'll use this one. This is the one I was using for the colors before. And I'm going to go in. I need a little more yellow. And now I'm going to outline these shapes with these yellow dots. That's why I said you want some of your black lines to be sections and not just lines. So when you go in, you can brighten them up with some color. See what a difference that makes? How that yellow just pops off the back of the, um, the background of the black. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Who knew art was going to be about math? Okay. So it's fairly, once you get your, your basic shape down, whether you're painting on a canvas or a wood cutout or another surface, a shirt, a canvas tote bag, whatever it is, 
once you get your basic shape down, it's really a matter of picking your colors and going in and just working your design however you want. Your favorite colors, however you want to do it. I had a, yep, I do. I have a liner brush. I'm going to pick up some white. I'm going to add a little bit of white to his body. Just to give it a little bit of highlight. I'm going to add a little highlight around my butterfly wings. Using my little pinky out there. A little bit of white highlight to this section of the black. Highlighting these. And there we go. Literally, I could probably be here all night just going to town decorating up my butterfly. But I think I will stop there for now. Or maybe I'll work a little more. I don't know. But I'm going to stop the video for now. So, I hope you liked it. I hope you're inspired to do a butterfly of your own. And if you, the easiest way to do it is like when I showed you guys about the heart. If you take a piece of paper, you know, and draw one section of the butterfly and cut it out. When you cut this out, then you open it up and your butterfly is symmetrical. So that's a little cheating tip for you. Um, so anyway, thank you guys. I love you all. Stay safe and sane. And I will be back Thursday. What am I doing Thursday? Hmm. I forget, but I will post it and let you guys know. Okay. And like I said, um, if you haven't joined the free group, group, free group, join it. We will be doing the Cinco de Mayo Beach Margarita. Love you guys.